All right, you are going to want to hang out and hear my thoughts on this knife. It's going to be different, probably, than most every other video you've seen on YouTube. All right, this is the Reich Knife um, RKSO5P, plain titanium handle with Damasteel blade. Um, Reich calls it Mosaic Damascus. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to get into what it's made out of. It, the, the, whether it's Damasteel, Damascus, we're not sure. Different retailers listed as different things. We're just going to go with it. On the face of it, it looks really cool. It's got Mokutai pivot, Mokutai pocket clip. We're going to talk about the clip. You know we're going to talk about the clip. You can, you can see we're going to talk about it just by looking at it. Um, and a beautiful Mokutai backspacer. There's a lot to love about this knife. There's also a lot to not love about this knife. And we're going to talk about all of it. So this was loaned in from a good buddy of mine, um, Rob, over in Utah. And he bought it from White Mountain Knives, 550 bucks. And he sent it to me. He's traveling for business. I get to film it, play with it, handle it, whatever, and then send it off to him. There's a lot of coolness to it. I love, love, love the blade shape and the blade material. I mean, look at that. A little bit of recurve, big belly, this mosaic Damascus pattern with the kanji in the blade, like super badass. I'm all about the Asian theme stuff, right? That that's you can tell. Like that's well, you know, I'm all zoomed in, so you can't really see the little samurai guy there, but yeah, you get it. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you've probably seen my tattoo progression over the last several years. So you get it. Um, so anyway, the kanji actually is means good fortune and blessings is what those are. Very, very cool, crazy, wild pattern. I love the blade shape. I love the blade material. Everything about the blade I love. I even love the spine and where that Damascus comes together. And you can see it all across the spine. Beautiful. Backspacer. Fantastic looking. I'm not sure if this is just titanium on the sides. It's anodized. Don't really know. But I think it's cool. I would have almost liked just a big chunk of Timascus or Mokutai instead of the little liners, if you will. But okay. You've got a hidden lanyard loop, hole, whatever you want to call it there. And then nicely anodized hardware as well to kind of really give it some pop. It's a good looking knife. Even the pocket clip is good looking if it worked. So we'll just dive right into the pocket clip. I had to bend this out slightly to be able to get it to even go into my pocket. And even then it wants to memory back into a position where it just doesn't even go in your pocket. Like it, there's literally not enough of a ramp. Like there's barely enough ramp to go in the paper, the business card. But for jeans, it barely works. So that's a really big miss for me. Now maybe this one could have been tweaked a little bit in shipping and packing and whatnot. Because I've seen other videos. I haven't really watched other uh, YouTube videos because I try not to do that on a knife that I'm going to watch or that I'm going to talk about, right? Um, because I don't want to be biased by them. But I did see a few people. Jim Skelton did a video um, and he said he loved carrying it and whatnot. So his pocket clip must have worked for him. I don't know. Dave over at This Old Sword Blade Reviews, he loved it too. So I guess the pocket clip worked for him as well. 
Um, and there was a bunch of other people. I didn't really watch a lot of videos, but I saw a bunch of people's thumbnails. Oh my God, it's mind blowing. The most beautiful knife I've ever seen. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, eh. <laughs> you know, if it doesn't work in the pocket, it's, it's useless. I said it. I said what I said. All right. So the pocket clip is a problem for me. Let's get past that because this one is probably just a little bit tweaked. So I'm going to just forget about that one. The flipper tab that is a little teeny tiny is one of the god awful, most uncomfortable pocket or flipper tabs I have ever had the displeasure of using. It is uncomfortable every single flip. Okay, and I don't have delicate lady fingers or anything like that, so don't even go there. I do like the minimalist pocket clip, I mean the minimalist flipper tab, because oftentimes we see knives with great big pocket peckers, and, and nobody wants that. But do all these other guys just, like, was theirs fine? Or are they just playing the YouTube game and being like, oh my God, everything's great about it. It's the most awesome knife ever. And for 550 bucks, it's a steal. I got to just be straight. Like, I think it's a beautiful looking knife. Everything about that right there, I love. If the flipper tab was better, more user friendly and not killing my finger literally every flip, then sure, I might be interested, but I'm not. And I think it's just word to the wise. It's very Shirogorov-esque um, because I don't really love their flipper tabs either. And here is my Ursus. Okay, it's different, but it's similarly uncomfortable. Okay. Um, and this is a great knife. This is this is one of the Shiro's that is more comfortable of a flipper tab for me, but it just doesn't work for me. Like I've tried to to like this knife. I got this in a trade, um, but yeah, it's for sale or trade right now. If anybody's interested, please hit me up. I've been trying to sell this for a little bit. Um, I think Christmas is still <sighs> there. People are still recovering from Christmas spending even though we're now into February. Um, but yeah, I'd love to sell this. So if you're interested, hit me up. Email's in the description. Let's let's work it out. Um, it's got the wood inlays and the Chromax PM bleed steel. Um, like new, I got the box papers, everything with it. But anyway, the flipper tab on this thing just is absolutely horrid. Uh, there's no other way to put it. So there is a bunch of milling in the scales here. So it is a lighter weight, which is very nice. I do like that. Steel lock bar insert. I mean, I wish, I wish I liked it better. All right, so let me give you some specs now that I've rambled. Uh, four and five eighths. We're just going to go through them really quick. Eight and a quarter overall, 3.5, six inch blade, uh, 4.7 ounces. And we already talked about the blade steel and all that good stuff. Nobody really cares about the blade thickness and behind the edge. Behind the edge is 0.016. Okay. This thing came really sharp. Um, I got to hand them that. Really sharp blade. Um... Maybe a little bit of side-to-side -side blade play. Yeah, a little bit. Could just tweak the pivot just a hair and it'd be fine. Nice. It's pretty drop shetty. But I think if I tweak the pivot just a hair, it would be less drop shetty and no blade play. But this is how it came out of the box. Brand new from Way Mountain Knives. So I do kind of like the milling here. I... There's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of things to love, but there's too many things to not love for me to consider this one or, or even really, I mean, I don't, I don't try to recommend and, and have you guys buy stuff. 
I just show and, and you guys can make your own informed decisions. So I wish the flipper tab was better and the pocket clip was better. And then it'd be a super cool knife. It feels good in the hand. You can choke up a little bit. Be careful when you do because it's not really a big finger choil. If you have smaller hands, it might work better. Um, but yeah, I do like this knife a lot. Other than those things I've already mentioned that are just really kind of deal breakers for me in my purchasing. So I'll give you a couple of quick size comparisons. Here it is with the Sharpie, the Spider Codelica. And because I brought it out, the Shirogorov Quantum Ursus. And because this came from my good friend Rob, and I bought this Hellraiser from Rob. How about that? True Damascus steel blade next to the Damascus, Mosaic Damascus? To give you just a look. Yeah. I love both of these blades. This one, I gotta say, is pretty freaking special. I would love to get some more of that steel and maybe have a knife made out of that or try to find a different knife with that similar type of steel, that would be fantastic. So there you go, guys. My thoughts that probably differ than most of the rest of the YouTube people. You get what you get with me. Thanks a lot, guys.